Hello there guys, welcome to Titan Quest Ragnarok I am back So I promised I'll do the let's play of this So let's do this, shall we? I mean, uh, oh, this is This is gonna be interesting I mean, uh, I am completely New to this You know, to Ragnarok, I've not played through this uh, Expansion, so a lot of it Will be quite new to me And I will pick the new mastery as well So I, I Created a new character who's already starts at level 40, so uh, let's try it, shall we? Let's see what uh, what it brings. The realm of the Nords. Oh, okay, I'm starting in the pool of water, that's interesting. Okay. Alright, so what what do we have? Let's see. Uh oh god, I've got an Aspensky all the spent points. Okay, I'm I'm a bit unfamiliar with the new because I've I've actually gotta be, be be honest here. I have not launched Titan Quest ever since you know the anniversary update. So I haven't actually played the anniversary version of it. So um so okay, so please, what's this? Physical resist. Okay, so actually showing physical resist now. Okay, so they're showing bleeding poison vitality here now um, Okay, and secondary. Okay, they've got some new ones. So slow down Trap resistance. Okay, that's good. It actually shows all of them because they used to be like hidden, you know before petrification Wait, that's happening as well petrification Sleep resistance that's freeze and okay. 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 That's that's cool. Um, let's choose. I'm going to, uh, for the first mastery, I'm going to choose Warfare. And the second one, I'm going to do Rune, which is this. Right. Right, okay. So, I'm going to, um, I'll go Hunt 24 and use Skill Points. So, I'll get myself buffed up on the Warfare first, and then, as we're going to go through the DLC, we're going to be getting, picking up skills in the Rune Mastery and trying them out. Alright, so I've spent a lot of the skill points on the warfare. I've got to, I decided to leave 20 unused ones, which we'll put in the rune master now. So I basically buffed the weapon training, onslaught tree, dual wheel tree, pretty much all the basics uh, for warfare. And also I got uh, the battle standard and warhorn to put one point warhorn for now, just to stun the enemy. So I'm just putting them in there. And rune master, let's see, this is completely new to me. I never used rune master before, so let's get powering through. Let's at least try the first two, shall we? Alright, so I've just had a look through the early level skills. I see this coil, it's it's a bit of a hybrid mastery. It can tack on to both melee and magic uh, classes types. So, this rune weapon here, that's basically similar to Earth and Storm enchantment. So, it's more elemental. Um, so, more for hybrids, if you see there's like elemental damage. This here increases elemental damage as well. This one just did, this one is actually a nice debuff because good percent attack damage converted to health and also reduces enemy offensive ability. And this one uh, basically eighteen percent weapon base damage becomes elemental. So this is actually better for like the hybrids, you know, or like mages which use uh, which one rely more on elemental. These two active skills are to do with elemental as well. Now this is the mines. I'm not sure if I I might try them. But this is like. Lightning bolts it gives some stun as well. Uh, this is very nice because this gives you a huge bonus to offensive ability. You see, I maxed it. It gives 105 offensive ability. It's very impressive, and it reduces the strength requirement for weapons. So this is great for a warrior class. This is pretty nice as well because this costs 600 second duration. This lasts a long time. This buff, and it increases your strength, movement speed, bleeding resistance, vitality resistance. So this is pretty good for warrior classes as well. Although you can benefit from the you know bleeding and vitality resistance with any class really, but anyways, um, I think I'll be, I'll be covering this in the in the build guides which I'll do at some point later after the let's plays. But uh, yeah, so this I went for these two skills for oh, well, and this one. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, seems like a nice mastery. It's a bit reminds me of Dream in a way because it's like versatile. But let's actually. Oh, oh hello. Were, were you there before? Yes, I was. Uh, is he? Or is he? Welcome, warrior, to the temple of Asclepius. Okay. You must forgive me. I didn't see you enter. All right. The underworld. 
from the underworld. Yes, we kicked Hades' ass. Truly? Yes. Well, you have been brought to the right place, O oh hero. If you have been traveling through the realm of Hades, the healing waters of our master will revitalize you. Stick the rune of life. Drink and wash the stain of death from your body and soul. I'll keep the right mouse button reserved for whatever is going to be whatever is going to be the more active skill that we use. Okay, so oh gosh. Okay. Oh wow! It's got like a little coliseum there. Some jugglers. City of Corinth. Right, so we're starting in Greece. We just came back to Greece. Okay, Greece is like our homeland, I guess. Oh man, it's the, it's the nostalgic feel of playing Titan Quest again, except in a different location. So that's the Enchanter. Um, oh, yeah, I've got no gear. I need to actually. Oh, it's you! Oh no, that wait. Where are the merchants? I need I need the merchants. I've got I'm naked. I've got nothing. Wait, that's a quest guy. Came in the merchants. Now that's that's a quest. Uh, okay, I can't, I can't actually go down into the. Oh well, I want to see some gladiators fight. Okay, here are the merchants. Okay, so that's the magic one. That's a warrior one. Let's check warrior one first. Come, friend, and look oh. at the best goods in the greatest Wait a trade city of Greece. Oh, Greece. I haven't actually put the attributes. Great. Okay, so I'm gonna pop most of them into strength. Because we are a warrior. Now we can see actually this stuff becomes more available. Um, let's put some into dexterity as well. But strength is most. I might. might pop a couple in the energy, maybe. Alright, so. yeah, I got roughly like two. roughly for every two in strength, one in dexterity. So it's nearly 400 strength and. To hunt dexterity. I popped like a couple in energy and health, but I, you mostly need these ones. Okay, so uh, now suddenly everything is. Oh god, all the basic gear. Okay, well, we shall start from the basics. I mean. Let's see how it's done. So. Let's see. We've got. Uh, luck is loads of armor, but it's basic. This one gives some poison resistance. So let's get that. Wear that. We're gonna improve this stuff, obviously. It's fire resistance. Don't forget about the armor value itself, because you need a good high armor value. So let's get the fire resistance helm. Uh, get these ones for now. I wonder how important the slow resistance and all these secondary resistances will come. I might just go for this. Oh wow, I actually have 2 million gold. Right, we're gonna get a lot of these because we're probably gonna be drinking a lot. Oh, it's actually a stack of twenty-five. That's nice. It's very nice. What the hell is that? That's a throwing blade. What? what since when was these introduced? I. That is interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, got a couple of nicer weapons here, so... Oh, we've got... we got like nothing, completely naked. Uh, my DPS is not that high either. Let's check this guy, just get some rings as well. The market is busy again. Almost too busy. A cart nearly rammed into my stall, can you believe it? Who? A cart rammed into your stall? Well, I can't believe it. It's too bad, isn't it? What kind of resistance? I wonder what kind of resistance. We probably need a lot of cold resistance um, for this because it's a Nordic act. So we shall. So I'm gonna get some cold resistance, I think. Cold resistance strength. Oh, cool. Two birds with one stone. Thank you. Okay, so I, I got quite a bit of strength. <laughs> Over 400 strength now. Uh, one skill. Oh, plus one tall skills in Rune Master. That's building on this one. All right. Well, we've got we outfit ourselves with the gear, so let us begin, and shall we? Let's see. I still feel kind of naked because I mean I don't have a lot of stuff here. Really don't have a lot of stuff, but uh, let's see. So this guy. Hail hero! 
It is most fortunate that I should meet you here. Wait, you are news of your triumph over Typhon. Is that, that's not Imhotep. That's not Cairo either, is it? Just another guy in a purple. Uh, were they Order of Prometheus? Were they? Oh yeah, they were there. Finally, come to trust in humanity, as Prometheus himself did so long ago. Okay. It's more than I would have dreamed to see in my lifetime. Now okay, so he's. So, uh, what's the quest actually? Oh, wait. Uh, side, oh, side quest festivities. Wait. There's a festival being prepared in Corinth on occasion of the Allied Greek victory of the monsters. Representatives from all over the country are in the city and may be interested in hearing about your adventures on Olympus and in Haiti. Have a look around and talk to them. So, there's someone in this city, okay? Uh, okay, fine. I'll look around who is. Someone wants to hear. I'm like a celebrity, local celebrity here. Who wants to hear of my. Oh, this, this, yeah. Should activate that. Before it's too late. Uh, you? Young is that Leonidas? It is good to see you. It's Leonidas! Hello! I told you our armies would hold. Yes. And so they did. And not only in Is that the same voice actor? Together we beat those foul beasts back into the shadows. Yeah. Uh, you know. No, who is who actually wants to talk to me? Was it? It wasn't Leonidas, was it? Or was it Leonidas? I don't know. Sorry, sorry. Let's see if we can find whoever wanted to speak to. Me. Oh, there's a mystic hiding over there. Ah, that's a big, big town, isn't it? I mean, do we need the town to be this big? Uh, that's dead end. This is exactly the same, like, I mean, all the graphics, everything is the same as the original time and place. Oh, hello, oligarch. Good evening, citizen. As you know, we aristocrats are always happy to listen to the concerns <laughs> of the public. Aristocrats, eh? festivities and... Other. Okay, so what's... Okay, so what did that do? Find the Dockmaster in Lucari Harbor. Oh, so that's done. So... Alright, so we're going this way, I assume. Right? Right? Going this way? It's the only way to go, oh, there's a graveyard. Okay, oh, there's gonna be monsters here, right? Oh, yes. Well, let's begin with this, shall we? Alright. Oh, it's been a while since I played. Oh, yes, my onslaught is as strong as ever. Where's everyone else? Seriously. Oh. Let me through. Ariston says what? Well, I suppose the boys could do with some help. The struggle is still... Oh. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Corinth Harbor Quarter. Source of... Oh! What the hell? Jesus Raider. Oh, boy. What the heck is the turtles? This. Oh, I have to start getting used to this. I'm not sure why the game. Oh, 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 getting killed. Getting killed. Wow, okay. Gotta watch my health here. But I'm not sure why the game suddenly starts to lag for some reason. I mean, I'm recording, so maybe it's because of that. But, uh, okay, so we don't have anything. Okay. Alright, let's hope it will run better now because it was down some problems. So. Um, so I got my dual wield maxed out. So we've got quite a huge, very offensive here, but I still have very basic gear. So I should actually be picking these things up. Oh, what did I just take? Just, uh, try the, oh, okay. What are the dexterity? All right. So these guys, where, where did they come from exactly? They, they went like... Like a horse. <laughs> that was hilarious. Wasn't there a feature that gold gets picked up automatically or did I read it wrong somewhere? Alright, we, we gotta get ourselves powered up here. <laughs> he just went... Again. That's hilarious, I love that sound effect. Uh, there's quite a lot of them, you just have to keep 
Whoa, what is that? Is that like some spell? Some kind of cold spell? Man, I'll never get tired of that sound. Look, mate. Oh man, I feel kind of naked without... Um... What is that? Some kind of slimes? Gelatinous blob. Um, I feel kind of naked without charging skills, like, you know, like shield charge, phantom strike, I love that stuff. Actually, I usually have warwind with the warfare, but... but it's, uh, just... Just stop lagging. Why, why can't I pick up a health potion? Okay. Okay, oh, look, there's some sheep over there. Okay, so these guys are just like... Pretty much like male gorgons, basically here. Uh, where was this somewhere? Is it? Is this supposed to go somewhere else? Where is the? Uh, oh, okay, it's this way. Right? Well, there's some guys over there. Okay. All right, we're drinking potions quite a lot actually, but that's that's quite normal for Titan Quest. Well, there's some crabs. Okay. So, hmm. So most of the enemies so far have been quite the same, really. But we... I mean, it's a bit too fast. I mean, I've heard most of the enemies are pretty much just recolors of the old ones. That's what I've heard, anyway. Right, I'm gonna get so keyed off if I die due to lag. Yeah. I think it's like a, so, uh, whenever I get a lot of enemies suddenly, then it's like starts to lag. It's like, I don't know, it's my computer can't handle so many enemies at once or what? I mean, come on, I run Titan Quest fine. Okay, let's use this. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got Intelligence Greaves, and some Mage Garments, which we don't need. Because we're a warrior! Wait, was that a Jin? That was Jin sound effect. Enemies all over the place, really. And turtles. Kind of annoying enemies, to be honest. They take forever to go down. I really need to build myself an artifact. Oh, oh, oh! Turtle shop. Oh, I've heard there's like some new... Um... Uh, I was shields. I thought some new relics introduced in the... Uh, in the Ragnarok. So that will be interesting to see. And also some new introduced in the um, anniversary editions of the game. So that's something I haven't seen as well. I think it was something Athena themed relic. It's a little grindy at the moment. Then again. Um, we're going the right way I assume. Go watch my health. Don't spare any health potions. We need them. Oh, I'm going what's over here. Oh, there's like a another coastal area. So when we're supposed to be going to um, the Nordic area or something? Why are we in here? Why are we here parading around as a celebrity? As opposed to doing more challenges. Alright, so it's a rebirth fountain. What is that? Whoa! Ah, okay, never mind. Um, how long till the next level? I've also got plenty to go. Okay, well... Mm, we shall stop around here, I guess. I think that won't make this episode too long. Uh, we shall continue in the next episode. Really don't like leaving one. <laughs> unlit um, but anyways uh, thank you for watching guys this episode we're gonna be continuing in the next episode I'm actually really looking forward to this uh, expansion even though I've heard it's not great I've heard so uh, we shall see it's got its pros and cons apparently uh, also another thing I'd, uh, if you know on Steam there's um, the these nominations game awards are going and um, the Titan Quest anniversary actually made it into the the top five 
of the Labor of Love Award. So that one will be voted on 23rd of December, so that's Saturday. So the Labor of Love Award basically means uh, the game which is still being supported after many years. So I'm actually quite glad to see Titan Quest make it into there because I voted for it as well. So yeah, we'll be voting for it on Saturday because we all know how amazing Titan Quest is. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.